Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to get set up in GoodNotes 5. So past videos have focused on GoodNotes 4. Uh, the app recently uh, underwent an upgrade and is now into a, a more sleek version. A lot of the same functionality, but there's some uh, new pieces to this. So I want to show what that looks like. So if we look at the fourth row here, third application in that fourth row, it's GoodNotes. That one right there, you don't have to click and hold it. You can just click on that icon. And if you're familiar with GoodNotes 4, you can see that GoodNotes 5, a little more modern looking, got the sort of uh, sort of gray white background. Um, nothing going on here right now, uh, but we're gonna set up our Google, uh, Google Drive connection uh, so we can do some automatic backups, link things to Google Drive, and then show how we can at least get set up. Uh, this will be the first video of a couple of videos where we go into a little bit more of what GoodNotes can do, so stay tuned for the whole series. Uh, first thing first is we're going to set up a connection between us and Google. So we're going to click on this uh, gear icon in the top right corner. That's the settings icon. Uh, we're going to start with the settings button there. Click on that. All right, a couple of things that you can explore on your own. We'll get into them and what they look like for future videos. For instance, like connecting a stylus and, and, and palm rejection so you can actually write on it without having any sort of weird, funky things happening. Um, and if you have a stylus, then even better. Um, the things we want to focus on for now are this automatic backup piece. So if you click on automatic backup, turn on automatic backup. And what's nice about this is that we can link a drive or a cloud-based account to our GoodNotes and our documents can automatically load to them. So for example, Google Drive. So we're going to show what that looks like. So we're going to click on cloud storage, click on Google Drive. And when it's going to prompt us to sign into Google Drive. This will be our connection. We're fine to allow it. We're going to allow and continue with all of our information in. Okay, and thanks to the magic of video editing, it input it in. Click next. We're fine to allow it to do those things. And then you'll see that it'll automatically create a folder for you in your Google Drive called GoodNotes. So anything that is saved over here will automatically be added to that GoodNotes file specifically as a PDF. Um, so click done. All right, we're gonna set up a new folder first. So click on this new plus button here. We see we have a different, uh, we have a couple of different options that we can use. This is going to come in handy if we want to start uploading PowerPoints as are some of our presentations. Uh, I can see a lot of use coming from this for our virtual classroom. Um, but for now, we're just going to create a folder. And then we can title it whatever we want. I would make it based on the subject or at least the, the um, potentially even the period. So let's say that this is my American history folder. And we can make one for every subject um, or, again, every period if you want to become even more fragmented. That's entirely up to you. Um, but we can make as many folders as we want. So I have a folder of design thinking. And you'll notice that when you go into any one of these individual folders, you get the exact same sort of prompt where you can add new things, including folders, notebook files, and whatnot here. Um, we'll start with just a basic notebook. Uh, notebooks are great because they are extremely straightforward. Uh, you can have a sort of front cover if you want to start. Imagine almost like a virtual notepad um, just on your iPad. And and I will admit that once using GoodNotes, I started actually doing um, like actually writing annotated notes uh, in this for conferences and whatnot. So you can really turn this into a virtual notepad with uh, whatever sort of front cover you want. Maybe it's this funky good one. And then maybe you're really liking... I don't know, squared paper, or you want to allow it for uh, going to a planner or something like that. They have a lot of different options, including switching between portrait and landscape mode as well. Um, so I recommend that you just play around with, with, uh, with those options there. Um, so we would click create. And then you would be in here. So we're going to save actually what to do in this video. Uh, we're going to save actually how to like maneuver within GoodNotes for a separate video. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to actually set up a document itself and how to make sure it is good to go for your Google Drive. What's nice about this is that as you work through this document, because we selected as an automatic backup from our shared settings, 
anything that we do in here is automatically going to back up. And you can see that the last backup was successfully completed in, in my time about a minute ago. So this will automatically happen and automatically update to your Google Drive, which is nice because then you can share out notes to students automatically without having to have them go and or have to having to send out and or save something to Google Classroom every couple of minutes or every day. This does it automatically. Um, so I would start with if you're starting with good notes, making sure your connection to Google Drive is there and solidified. And then in the next video we'll talk about um, what are some of the functionalities of good notes and, and what you can really do within a document.